three big disappointments and the flash being an enormous flop is the gunverse living dying rising what is going on so let us get to the good stuff then we will get to the bad stuff last we checked we got green lantern with nathan isabel will be hawk girl and eddie will be mr terrific but now anthony will be coming in as metamorpho and that is sort of the dilemma now anthony looks picture perfect he does match up pretty well with metamorpho but then the other casting choices are a little bit off especially this fight over a hawk girl whether she should be white or black or latina etc 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 again i'm not too concerned with that i think this is a nice spread in terms of representation we're getting really younger actors older actors uh, newcomers and people in the middle and veterans like nathan but again i cannot avoid the obvious which is nathan is a big friend of joss whedon and he's defended whedon i think he could have been more critical myself but that's me but i do respect nathan he's an incredible actor he's done great work on buffy the vampire slayer as caleb if you've not watched buffy i would say be very patient he does a great performance in season seven and he's done firefly i think he was pretty great in that he's also been in the dc universe he's done justice league unlimited so nathan being picked is a little strange i do think there is favoritism but you can justify it he does not look like guy gardner at all so that's pretty weird but we don't know yet what will happen and so now we're going to get into possible spoilers for superman legacy again these are rumors these could all be wrong but if they are true, it seems like James is being somewhat hypocritical. It's not a complete lie, but it is somewhat problematic. So they've chosen David, and he will be the new Superman, and they've also picked their Lois. And again, I'm sort of midway. I think they will do fine. I'm not overly impressed. But some people are noting that David looks a lot like Henry Cavill. He basically just looks like... A somewhat younger version of Henry Cavill so the question would be why did you get this version of Henry Cavill when you had Henry Cavill and the answer was well Henry Cavill was getting a little old they wanted to start off fresh and new but then we have Nathan and Nathan is much older but they're hiring him so the theory that well they just want a young young Superman does not work they apparently would be okay with an older Superman but it has to be the gun Superman so there we are and apparently the plot will be, I'm not joking, it will be the Black Adam plot. Now, I saw Black Adam. I supported Black Adam. I think Black Adam is actually a pretty good film. I think people are being really ignorant and stupid saying it's a bad film. However, I saw Black Adam, and apparently this film will be essentially Black Adam. The story will apparently be that Superman will handle a crisis in the Middle East, and he'll be getting support as well as frustration from these other members of either the justice society or the justice league now we don't know for sure if these new people are the justice league you can kind of in your head understand what they're trying to do they're setting up the foundations for the justice league and they're focusing on superman so i am confident it will be a superman centric story just like black adam was about black adam but you can't ignore the obvious that He's kind of doing what Zack Snyder did and what The Rock did with their films, which is, okay, we're going to focus on this main character, but we're setting up this bigger team in the background. And you're like, well, we did that already, didn't we? And we're rebooting that. So you're just kind of copying and pasting what was done before, but just with a gun flavor. The usual reasons they gave for like, well, this Zack Snyder thing didn't work and The Rock thing didn't work, right? They were disappointments in terms of box office or in terms of getting an audience and you could be like okay we could go back and forth on that but gun is doing the same thing now so it does feel a little dicey as to what he's doing with his universe but we'll have to wait and see if those rumors about the plot are true but if they are true then it's like yeah this does feel like he's just doing his version of bvs mixed in with black adam but we're going to call it something else and you know, that's a little disappointing yes the strike is real so at least as of today actors are on strike in hollywood and the Blue Beetle actor gave out a very charming message that he wants to support the film, but he can no longer do interviews. And I've seen Blue Beetle recently. I actually think it's visually very impressive. So I think Blue Beetle will do just fine. But yeah, the actors are now in a weird situation that they cannot, quote, act and they cannot, quote, promote their films. This will probably not hurt Superman Legacy because that is a way off. 
They do have the script ready, so presumably it will delay it a little bit, but I don't think Superman Legacy will be hurt. But Blue Beetle now is in a really weird spot, and so is Aquaman, because now technically Jason Momoa will not be able to promote the film. So the Gunverse is definitely off to a very weird start. The casting, I think, is reassuring. I think these are interesting casting choices. I'm not wowed, but they are intriguing enough, but it does seem like we are kind of just repeating the Snyderverse, but now just with a more gunnish direction.